So first thing this morning, I was having a cup of tea, getting ready for the working day, and I was making some notes about a new video that I planned to shoot today, all around unique images. When I came across a blog post from Google called Google Mum, that's Google M-U-M, -M. I started reading it and it's really, really interesting. Basically, it's a new technology or an algorithm update that's gonna come out all around unique content and how the user will find it. So I think it's a really good topic. I think we should have a quick chat about it. So let's get into this. Hi, and welcome back to the channel again. So today, yeah, I wanna talk about a video that I was going to produce all around unique content. So what I mean by that is mainly for me, imagery and videos. So over the past year or so, I have been really concerned about using images and infographics that people have already used. So I did a video recently, I'm not sure if it's out yet or not, where I showed an image of a garden fish pond. And it's for a gardening website that I am building and I wanted some images all around this type of garden pond. And I found a beautiful image over on Pixabay. And that image looked like it was very nice and it would fit my article perfect. But when I looked at how many times it had been downloaded, it had been downloaded over 50,000 times. And when I did a few searches on Google, I realized that that image is pretty much on every blog post in the topic that I was going to write and talk about. And it's used by everybody. So it's not exactly what you call unique. So that got me thinking more and more about imagery. Now, I have started to actually make a catalog of images myself. I've been building a library that all my writers and VAs can use. So I've been going out for the day with my family to a park or a zoo or a garden center, and we've been taking thousands of images. We're then gonna crop them, edit them, and put them onto a Google Shared Drive where my VAs, editors, and writers can dip in and use what images they want. Now, I believe that using unique content, whether that be written, image, or video, is gonna be paramount to our success in the next few years. Now, reading this article, which I've got a few snippets here which I can read for you, really backs that up. So, I'm just gonna read here, this is from searchmetrics.com. So they said, Google Mum update. How new Google AI technology will transform SEO in the future. So it says, Google Mum update. Google has unveiled Mum, its latest technology that will enable search engines to better understand content and the search intent. Google itself says that Mum is a thousand times more powerful than the current processor or AI technology they use, which is called BERT. Now, and it will help to Google to understand not only written text, but other forms of content better. It will understand not only 75 languages, but also videos, images, and even podcasts. So basically what they're saying is, they will not only use the written word to produce results for a search query. So in the past, they've usually used the H1 title, tags, and meta descriptions to actually find what content they think you want to see when you've submitted a search query into the Google search index. And what happens is you get usually the top 10 page results. Now with Google Mum, what it will do, it will also look for other relevant content that it believes fits that search query. So it's not gonna just use the top 10 blog results or the top 10 blog results and videos that are on there. It's gonna look for other relevant content that might be suitable. Now this AI technology is gonna be so superior, it will get to the point where you will be able to, let's say, take a picture of a running shoe and submit that into Google. Nothing else, you won't need to say anything else, but it will know it is a running shoe and it will even know the type of running shoe, the make of the running shoe and what it's used for, whether it be long distance running or uphill running. And it will serve the results based on that picture. Now, this is something I've really been interested in and I've been saying this for about a year now on my channel. I've been asked the question quite a lot, is blogging dead? It's harder to get into. I can't compete with the content that's out there. And I've been saying it's not dead, but it definitely is changing. And I mean, this just backs it up. I, mean, I should go work for Google or something, you know, because 
I've had this vision that you will be able to do search using visual rather than written. And I've been thinking that for so long. Now, the reason I've been thinking that is because you think today or yesterday, how many images or videos did you see? You probably saw thousands. But when you compare that to how many blog posts or articles you read, think about it, how many articles did you read yesterday? Now, if you read one or two, very good. Well, well done, that is, that is probably more than I read yesterday. But think about how many images, videos, podcasts, infographics, charts, tables. Think about all those, how many of those you saw. If you collect them up in a whole day, you probably saw thousands. And that's what I've been saying when I mean blogging is changing. I think it will become more visual. I think people are thirsty for quick snapshots of information and results and answers rather than needing to read a 10 minute blog post to find the answer to your search query. So I do believe blogging is changing. Now, don't worry, I'm not gonna say that you need to stop writing blog content. I do believe it will go hand in hand. But what will happen, I believe it will be fantastic for us as bloggers because what Google is saying is if you've got a relevant image or graphic or a, a subparagraph of text or a podcast that answers the question, no matter whether you are on page one or page 10 of Google, if it's relevant, then the Google Mum AI technology will pull it up and it will put it all to the user in kind of a roadmap. So that picture of that running shoe will be served with dozens and dozens of relevant pieces of content. That might be a great podcast on running. It may be an infographic that shows you all the different types and styles of running shoes. It could be a blog post that's written. It could be a product review. No matter what that is, Google will see easier that it's relevant to that search query rather than just relying on kind of the top 10 blog posts. So if you've got a really helpful website on running, you're a real good enthusiast in the niche of running and you have some really great content, no longer do you need to be the number one authority in the world on running shoes for Google to find that your content is relevant and it might actually help that user. So kind of think of it like a snippet. You know that you can be on the bottom of page one, but if you have that snippet that perfectly answers the question, it gets served and shown at the top. This will be very similar, but it'll be more visual. So it will pull up infographics and videos and Instagram posts and things like that. Now you can see this is a snapshot from Google's own blog content, which I will link in the description. You can go read it on this topic. And you can see from this image, what they're trying to show you is that if you make a search query, not only will you get a blog post, but you'll get an image, you'll get a video, you could get a podcast, you could get a newsletter. It's saying that what their AI technology mum will do, it will find all the relevant results for that picture of that running shoe. So I've known for a while that visual and audio, podcast, videos, Instagram, unique images are all gonna be very relevant in the next few years. So. What can you do now in your blog post? Well, think about the type of content that you write is important, but also the images and the infographics and the charts that you put in there. Create some new charts, create some infographics, create them featured images that do better than just posting an image from Canva that's been used 50,000 times on a website. Try and create that unique content so when Google AI mum rolls out, you will really find the benefits from using that. So I hope you found it interesting. Like I say, I'm still reading up on it. It was literally only a few hours ago when I read as many articles as I could on the topic and it, uh, it hasn't scared me. It's made me more positive about the future. I just think you need to be creative, you need to be unique and you need that special little unique selling point on your blog. So Google's AI mum will find it and rank you well. So thanks for joining me. I hope you like the video. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and please, please, please click the bell icon because a lot of you are missing out on videos because you're not getting informed when I bring one out. So thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video.